Well, for me, it all started in March of 1990. I uh, came down and interviewed for an inside sales position with Don Miller, the vice president uh, at the Seattle branch, and uh, we talked for a while. And, uh, I ended up uh, getting offered a job to come work for Ellen Curtis and uh, starting in like two days. And so I was like, cool, take it. Well, back in the day, we'd uh, be working the phones and uh, taking orders just the same way we do now, except uh, instead of a computer, we had our tag books that uh, we would hand write each sale uh, in triplicate uh, copies, so you always had to press hard enough to get all the way through to the third copy. Um, then those tags would be sourced to POs. Many times we would just type our own POs. Uh, if there were shipping orders, those would be manually typed as well. And, uh, and then once that sales order was active and it was an open order, it would go on the tag board. And that's where we would go look for back orders and to make sure that uh, orders were proceeding through uh, in a timely manner. Shown here are some early pictures uh, of the office. This is before the advent of computers. You can see uh, the desks are uh, uh, free of electronics, but uh, you do have the IBM Selectric 3, our uh, machine of choice, uh, or at least it was forced on us. Uh, as we expanded the office, you can see where we had just come into the other half of the building. It was still closed off. And then uh, when we added desks into the, into the first strip area, uh, the part of the office that I'm in now uh, originally was used as our conference room and then we used it also as a showroom in the back. In 2000 I had done the six million dollar salesman video. I'd actually done that for a sales meeting we were having uh, with all the outside team and I believe Paul Curtis was in town at the time and uh, wanted to use it as part of a presentation we were doing. After I'd been with Curtis for a while, uh, I got involved with the conferences and uh, different shows that we were doing. Uh, those were a lot of fun. Uh, back in the early days, we tended more towards hospitality than generally even, in some cases, showing uh, materials. Um, firefighters, we did our big barbecue. We still do that today. Um, the Commissioner's Conference was purely a hospitality situation. Uh, the Curtis Group would usually provide food. Uh, many times we were doing themed nights. Uh, you can see some pictures here where uh, we were all dressed up. And uh, the Northwest Expo, which uh, was in its infancy when, when I was doing that, uh, became a pretty big deal for us. We were inviting almost, I think, 17 vendors at a time. Uh, to fill the amount of space that we had there and then coordinating all of them getting into town all their equipment and everything was pretty amazing uh, Part of the biggest fun of that uh, each time was uh, Paul Curtis would come up and visit us uh, towards the end of the uh, Expo run and uh, we had created pizza with Paul which uh, uh, I would seek out whatever divish place we could get uh, to bring all of our sales teams and the uh, vendors uh, with us and, have a good night out uh, after working the show all day. Words of wisdom, what, did I, what have I learned over the years uh, with Ellen Curtis? Uh, it's be flexible and learn to adapt because uh, change is, is what it's all about and we've had a lot of change over uh, the 25 years I've been with the company, uh, both in personnel and, and uh, procedure and technology, it's uh, been pretty amazing uh, being along for the ride. I always think back to when I first met Bill Curtis. Uh, I got my first trip down to Oakland very early on when uh, I had just started and got the tour down there and met Paul and, and uh, the rest of the crew and uh, Bill took me out in the warehouse and gave me the tour out there. And as we were walking around he kind of stopped at one point and he just said, you know, uh, with this company, uh, all we ask is you work hard, you do good work, and uh, we're going to take care of you and your family. Um, that's about all there is. And 
I've held that uh, true to heart and it's, uh, it's been true. Uh, it's been a good ride. So uh, here's doing another 25. We'll see y'all in 2040. Whoa. What did I just say? <laughs>